actually responded to the call. Well, when you teach a singer how to sing, it's all about breath and resonance. <clears throat> and oftentimes, uh, they breathe incorrectly. They breathe like this, or they breathe with too much tension. But if you hold a fruit, like last night I had, I had uh, a mangosteen to eat. Oh, it was so beautiful <laughs> tasting, but it looked really weird. It looked gross in that shell. But the person said, it's really going to be good. But I always want to sniff before I taste. So I sniffed, it, it felt really good. So you breathe like this. And then there's no noise to the breath. If there's noise to the breath, you're, you're going to have tension. I try to teach through analogies, through pictures. Um, I try to practice doing and then knowing. Not know what you're going to do, but do, experience making sound. What, if, what does sound feel like inside of you when you make it? What, what happens when you make a sound that's pleasing? In, inside of your body. And then I want the students to remember that sound, and I use the phrase, remember in your members what it feels like physically to always create that sound again. Do not remember the sound, remember the feeling of it. Because you can't create a sound unless it's in your memory. And that memory resides in your members. What does it feel like to breathe, like the, the sniff and taste, versus just breathing? When you start moving when you're singing, the whole body is engaged, the whole body, mind, and spirit. You're not just thinking, you're doing. Uh, that's the real fun thing about those kind of pieces. You start moving and you quit thinking about how it's supposed to sound, and it usually always sounds better. Boop is a part of, of, a part of music making, especially in the gospel style and especially in the South African style. Movement is just as important as singing, because moving the body makes the breath move, makes the sound move, makes it even more exciting. I think the biggest thing that I sense is this great love of community. Music is the vehicle, but then it's the hearts and the souls and the spirits of the students and the teachers combining together to create this atmosphere where we are all here to learn from each other. It isn't that the teachers are here or Miss Devins is here to say, do it this way. She's always saying, what do you think about this? How do you feel about this? How would you like this to go? So it's, it's very democratic and less autocratic. And that's really fun to see that. And the kids are bright. They have great questions. There's a great interaction. They're like college kids here, anyways. And I, I've taught on the college level, and so this is very much at home.